Earth. Arizona's drought shows no signs of getting better, but it's not our weather that makes a difference. The state relies on snow that is hundreds of miles away for our water. Team 12's William Pitts takes us to Colorado to see where our water actually comes from and if the news is good or bad. Eventually, you'll drink this. That's your water, and we went to see where it comes from. We had a snowshoe to get in here. 11,000 feet at the pass. Kind of gets to you after a while. We're heading to a snow tell site, a site that measures the amount of snow in the Colorado mountains every hour. It's at Berthoud Pass on the Continental Divide about an hour outside of Denver. Uh, this measures uh, all forms of precipitation, both liquid and solid. Brian DeMoncos is with the Colorado Snow Survey. The amount of water that's in the snow, we know, you know how good or bad it is, or more simply, how it compares to last year or all the other years. The snow tell equipment is automated, but people like Brian still have to come measure it the same way it's been done for a hundred years. It's called the federal standard. It's a hollow pipe that gets stuck in the snow, then measured 47 and a half and weighed <laughs> to find out how much water is in the snow. All of that snow melts into water. All of that water comes down the Colorado River eventually to us. And we know we're going to get uh, a certain amount of runoff from that. The question is, how much? The snow becomes the Colorado River. On its way to Arizona, it's divided up. Everyone wants some. Some stays in reservoirs for later. Some keeps going down the river. Along the way, it's divided up to other states for farming and drinking. How much water heads down the river depends on how good the snowfall is in the Rockies. We're sitting very close to average up in the high country. Um, but that's a pretty new development. We've had a couple of big storms come through, and leading up to that, everything was pretty dry. Average is not good enough anymore. We're now at the point where we're not calculating in single water years. We, yes, we need a banner water year, but really we need, we need five, six, eight huge snow years to make up for the deficit that we're sitting on. By huge snow years, he means the most snow they've ever seen, 150% of normal for years on end. Musselman says it's getting harder for the snow to come to Arizona because more water is getting lost along the way. You can think about the soils as, as a sponge, and in order to get runoff coming down the rivers, we first need to satisfy the sponge. Need, and so that sponge is gonna take a fraction of that, of that rain in the spring. These plains are some of the driest they've ever been. So dry that right over Musselman's shoulder was a rare December wildfire, one that burned for only 24 hours and destroyed more than 400 homes. The fire only stopped when the first major snowstorm hit the area. It's very clear that we're sitting in, in, on a new normal, and, and not only that, but our normal is shifting under our feet as we speak. Even a month ago, a lot of people, including myself, were relatively surprised that uh, we gained as much snowpack as we did. The fear is that this is not a cycle, that dry winters are here to stay, and that means the Southwest's two-decade-long drought will be normal. The lower lake levels will stay low. The Southwest will have to find new and more ways to conserve water. William Pitts, 12 News. All right, Will, thank you. This year's Academy Awards will break new ground with the 